Hello everyone, this is Dial 20 and welcome to episode 54 of Dial 20's Let's Play series. Where I'm just chilling in my big old mining area. Hey, guess what I learned about this dimension, by the way, before it gets cleared out? Look at that, there's emerald ore down here. Cool, the mining dimension has emerald ore in it. So, today I learned. It, actually, if you notice in the top right, the, the dimension is, the or the biome is actually, let's see, uh, on the left you can see biome... Just another mining dimension, colon mining. Uh, and then in the top right up here, uh, you can see mining as the dimension, right? Ta da! So uh, that's pretty cool, right? Isn't that cool? It's, uh, I guess, uh, the just another mining dimension mod as its own biome type uh, so that it can, you know, handle how ores are populated. And I mean, like, it's a pretty good population of ores, right? You can even see, like, my initial mining attempts here where I was, you know, testing the thing out. But yeah, so far, everything's running beautifully. It really is. Uh, it's doing a great job, right? It gets down to the bottom here, right? Which is, again, one, exactly one block above bedrock. So I kind of like that it doesn't go all the way to bed. I kind of like that you, you get, like, you know, this far and no farther. Right, and then neat. Um, and that's pretty spiffy. So, looks like another emerald ore here. Sweet. I'm going to snag that with my fortune pick because, yes, might as well. Hey, is that another one? It might be. Yes, it is. Nice. Boop. And look, then it goes up. Whee! It is super cool uh, to do. The one thing that I haven't been able to figure out how to do is chunk loading. Um, because I think the only chunk loaders we have in the pack are just from uh, from 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 FTB chunks, right? So I can I can claim the chunks, you know, in front of this thing if I wanted to, something like that. But that's not a good solution because eventually the thing's going to move past those chunks and then get stuck, and that won't be fun. And I have no idea what's going to happen if this frame machine moves into an unloaded chunk. I can only assume. Not great things will happen. Uh, I don't actually know, though. So I'm kind of hesitant to do that. But uh, I can turn it off with this lever. And what will happen is it will finish its current iteration. It will dig down to bedrock, minus one, and then come back up and then just stay there. And that's it. And it will just stay perfectly still. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going well, to let it finish mining its current iteration. I don't like it moving when I'm not in the area. Um, what I have found is if I leave the dimension while it's moving, it sometimes gets stuck. And the solution to that is to just break this shaft and then replace it. And it'll fix itself. Uh, so I think it occasionally gets stuck. It gets like jammed on something. What I found when that happens is sometimes a layer of stone gets left behind. Like the, like the thing moves past one layer of stone that it doesn't break. You might have to break that manually, but otherwise it's pretty good. So long story short, don't let it move when you're not here. Um, if if I could find a chunk loader that would work, I would do it. I tried getting chicken chunks, the the, the placeable chunk loader with the lasers that spin around and you know, chunk load an area. That would probably be the best solution, but when I put it on the frame machine, it crashed my game. So <laughs> restore from backup, always a fun time. Uh, so yeah, don't try that. Uh, unless you back up first. So I couldn't find any other reliable chunk loading methods. There's a couple blocks from Mechanism that have anchor upgrades in them, and I couldn't get that chunk loading either. Uh, none of the blocks that I tried that accept anchor would move on the the frame. So, I mean, I tried one, I didn't try them all, but I tried a couple and none of them were moving. So I kind of assume most of Mechanism blocks have a flag that say, hey, don't push me around, uh, which, you know, makes sense. So uh, that said, Today we're gonna to move away from the Create Mining Machine because it's done a great job, and we're gonna jump into something new. I spent so long in the mining dimension, I forgot darkness and rain was a thing. <laughs> I came back and I'm like, oh, it's dark and raining. I haven't seen that in a while. So taking a quick look in my refined storage system, I can see that we've got 3,000 iron, <laughs> which is cool. Uh, we got several hundred gold that we picked up, uh, quite a bit of lapis in there. Uh, we're doing pretty good on uranium, which will play a role in the future when we decide to get into reactors and stuff. Quite a bit of zinc ore. We didn't do great on diamonds, I don't think. We're only at 72 of them. In fairness, I used a bit in the recent times, but eh. Uh, so, you know, obviously the lack of fortune on those drills, because yeah, I don't think you can fortune them, is going to impact diamond production a little bit, but meh. So what I want to do today, I think, is visit the end. Uh, I'd like to go take down the end dragon, 
Uh, s check out the end. Maybe set up a waystone over there or something. Do we have any waystones made? If we don't, we can get... Ah, yeah, we good. We, yeah, we can take a sandy waystone. Uh, let's get some Eyes of Ender, right? I'll just grab, like, ten of them. Hopefully that'll be enough. Uh, what I'd like to do is visit the end, because I want to find an Elytra. And I want to check out the Angel Ring from, uh... The Angel Ring mod. Doom Angel Ring. All you need is an Elytra. Boom. Uh, an Elytra, obviously, no crafting recipes in the pack because it's, you know, just end loot. So I want to check that out. So I'd like to kill the End Dragon, go get an Elytra, maybe check out the End a little bit uh, to see if there's anything fancy out there. And then we'll see what happens. Sound like a plan? So, and I want to just check out the Angel Ring and see how it is because I like the speed, as I've said before. When I need to get somewhere, Oh, this thing is kind of the best, but I'm just trying to, to build something. The, 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 the slow fall of the hover is not ideal. And I don't think that there's a better tier of jetpack, right? I don't think that there's a better one that has no falling. I might be wrong, but I don't think there is, right? Um, and there's no like scaling. I can't say like, hey, slow down that speed. So when you're trying to do something precise, it's like, it's like too fast, right? Like it's, it's not... It's not easy to be precise. So I want to just check out Angel Ring and see how it works. So that means a trip to the end. What I wouldn't mind doing is seeing what kind of cool bows I can get. Uh, do we have any fancy bows? We've got the electric bow from Mechanism. I know most of Mechanism stuff is OP, so it sounds like a good thing to make. I'm just saying. Um, oh, and there's an Enchanter's bow from Ars Nouveau. That's cool. Augment spells when used with an Enchanter's bow. That's neat. Uh, then there's the living wood bow. There's a bow of Ratlantis. Ooh, fires stronger arrows twice as fast. We should probably check out Ratlantis at some point because there's some really OP stuff in Ratlantis. If you want to see OP, woo, good times. Um, but I think mechanism is probably the one that is most attainable to us right now. So let's make the mechanism bow. It's enchantable, I presume. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. So we with the standard suite of enchants on it, uh, which is pretty cool. And uh, we'll we'll do that. And what I think we should aim for is to try out that bow, see what it's like. And then there's also Archer's Parabox, which is a which is which is King Lemming's mods. Um, bunch of cool arrows that you can get. Neat. Look at these things. Increased damage, pierces one target. Oh, that's cool. Requires a diamond, and you'll get four arrows from it. Oof, that's a lot of diamonds, but okay. Uh, creates a temporary area, which teleports things away. Teleports the shooter and target. Uh, explosion on impact. Chills target and freezes nearby blocks on impact. That's kind of cool. Um, brightens things up a bit. Calls down a lightning bolt on impact. Good to know. Ooh, needs another star, though. But good to know, because there's a few things where, like, when struck by lightning, things happen, right? Not the least of which is, like, you know, energized creepers, but there's other things that you know, respond to lightning strike. So we should keep that in mind. Flies straight, pierces everything. Uh, improved flight when underwater. Slightly increases damage and knockback. Charges everything within a radius for a short time. Well, that's cool. Uh, homes in on a target. That's neat too. That's cool. We should get some shulker things so we can play with that a little bit. Bounces a number of times, spreads the glory of fungus. Okie dokie. Deals no damage, used for practice. Make each shot more difficult. Same with challenge arrow. Wonder what the difference is. So that needs rabbit, and this one needs... Ooh, that needs a lot of... That needs training arrows. I guess it's an higher tier of one. That's kind of cool. Uh, makes the world just a little bit more lush. Verdant arrow. That sounds kind of cool. All right, so let's... I mean, at the very least, Quartz Arrows, right? Because they slightly increase damage and knockback. But I might want to check out Diamond Arrows just to see what the difference is. I mean, maybe we'll make like one or two of them, but I ain't going to make a stack, right? I mean, a stack would be... Eh, I don't know. And also, I'd be curious to see if Infinity works, like... Right? Because uh, what we want is the Mechanism Bow, right? Let's look at the Enchants on that. Multi-Shot, Flame Power, Quick Draw, Quick Shot, Punch, Hunter's Bounty, Infinity... So infinity is the only one in here that sounds like it's gonna do much, right? Quick draw and quick shot both sound cool. What's the difference? Well, I mean, I can only I have a pretty good idea. So quick charge uh, increases the reload speed of crossbows, right? Quick draw and quick shot triples the speed that your draw bows, bow, that your bow draws up to full power. That's quick shot. Uh, decreases the amount of time needed to fully draw a bow from insulation. I wonder if they stack. 
And he can just like instantly draw a bow if we put them both on there. We're going to totally try that out. What's Hunter's Bounty do? Um, provides a chance for, of additional drops from slain animals. Oh, that's kind of cool. I wonder if that also means regular mobs. But that's kind of cool. It says animals, so I'm like, eh, I'm not sure. Um, reactive, what's that do? Has a chance to cast the inscribed spell from Mars Nouveau. Okay, not a big deal. So I think we should go for power, quick draw, quick shot, and infinity. That sounds good to me. Cool. So we're going to want power five. We're going to want quick draw and quick shot. Quick shot three, quick draw three. And then infinity would be the things we want. And that sounds like a good time. So let's make the electric bow. Because it sounds cool. Everything's made. Boom, boom. Cool beans. Do you have any kind of like shift right click or anything? Fire mode off. I don't know too much about this electric bow. Uh, controls, category, mechanism. Um, feet mode switch, item mode switch is N. Module tweaker is slash. Let's try both of those. Mechanism fire mode on. I don't know what that means. I'm going to assume that flaming mode means that it's going to light things on fire, which I generally don't like doing, especially, I mean, I mean, not that Enderman can be hit with bows anyway, but yeah, you know what I mean. All right, so let's go do the enchanting. I'm going to do the enchanting a little bit off camera because that's probably going to be boring to watch, but what I'm going to get is some books and some lapis uh, and make sure that we have our memory stick ready to go. And what I'm going to do, boop, boop, is make sure I have a bunch of experience. And remember, I have a ton, so I can go a little bit overboard. And just start enchanting this bow. Once I get an enchant I want, I will enchant it and then use the disenchanter to pull the books off so that I can make exactly the custom bow I want. Now that's interesting. The bow doesn't work in an enchanting table. Mm hmm. Maybe I should get a vanilla bow to do that with. So power four, not quite where I want to be. So if we want to focus bow enchants, what we should do is just get a vanilla bow. Uh, and now you've got True Shot 1, which is kind of meh, but I'll just use you, right? True Shot 2, not interested, quick book. Okay, so then we'll just do this, this, and that. And then I'm going to do this a bunch of times, right? Quick Draw 1 is not where I want to be, so we'll do you, and go from there. Magic Protection. Nope. Quick Draw 1, same thing. No, please, thank you. I was kind of wishing the mouse wheel would work there, but meh. Power three, but I want power five, really. So no. Back in a minute. All right, so I wasn't getting much luck with power five, but I got a couple powers that are lower than five. So I got volley and power three on that one. So volley I'm not super worried about, but power three. And then I have a power four. And I have another book with power three and bulwark on it. So if I do this... I can separate them out, right? And that means I can have a power five book, right? Where, did I, is my anvil down there? I guess not. Do I have an anvil? I thought I had an anvil. I do have an anvil, yay. <laughs> you're gonna be here, buddy. All right, so you're gonna be power three plus power three equals power four plus power four equals power five, boom. And I'm gonna store that in here. I also have several iterations of quick shot, but I don't think I have any quick draw. Uh, there's also true shot, which I don't know if I saw, did I see true shot on here? I don't see true shot on the list of things that's accepts. We'll see if we can get it on there. Um, I don't have quick shot, but I do have quick draw. Or I have quick shot, but I don't have quick draw. So we'll see. I'm gonna keep, uh, I definitely need infinity still, and maybe quick draw, we'll see back in a sec. Woot! Finally got infinity. You can see how many times I've done this because I grabbed a stack of lapis and now we're at 18. So do the math on how many times I had to do this before I got infinity. Nice. All right, let's let's uh, let's burn all these books real quick. Furrowing, efficiency, impaling, and weeding. All right, cool. Enchant makes you better at breaking grass. I don't really know what it does. I'm just kidding, but it sounds cool. All right, so that gives me infinity, woot, on that. So power four and infinity, as a matter of fact. Sweet. All right, so the only other thing I want is quick draw, I want to say. Um, but I'm not having a lot of luck on him. Really not having a lot of luck. 
We'll see what happens. I finally decided moving this thing over to here would probably be smart. So I got quick draw one. There you go. Quick draw one. Uh, and maybe I'll have a chest to store some things in temporarily. So quick draw one can go in there. So I need to get that up to three. We'll see what happens. I'll tell you what, finding a high level of quick draw seems very unlikely. So I just wound up getting four quick draw ones. I also got a true shot on that guy, so I'm not sure if I care about him or not. But there we go. So now I'll clean up all this. And let's give it a shot, shall we? So uh, let's get an arrow, because I'm actually not sure if we need an arrow or not. Sometimes mods make it so that infinity equals no need for arrows anymore, but you know how it goes. Boom, quick draw three, sweet. All right, so let's do the infinity enchanted book. So we want quick shot three. We want uh, power five. So power five and infinity, I'm going to say, are my two most important ones. So I'm going to put them on first, and then we'll go from there, right? So U plus infinity, boom. U plus power five, boom. Cool. So now let's just test this. Do you need arrows in your inventory to actually fire? Apparently, yes. Cool. And that's your draw up speed. Okay. So now let's go ahead and add quick shot. And I haven't been like super perfect about having the right number of enchants. So this is actually, yeah, quick shot three. That triples the speed that your bow draws up to full power. Sounds good to me. Oh, wow, that's fast already. <laughs> that is fast. Uh, and then can we also add you? Enchantment cost 21. Okay. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Love it. And now do you think we can get True Shot on there? That's a good question. Can we get True Shot on there? True Shot 2. Because that increases the accuracy and speed of arrows and allows them to pierce. Now, I didn't see that as being an acceptable enchant on the enchants lookup thingy. So I'm thinking no. I'm thinking no is what the answer is. Yeah, I didn't see True Shot on here. So is there anything else we really wanted? No, I think that's pretty good. I think that's a pretty ridiculous bow. I'm down with that. All right. So we want to have them. Now let's get our quartz arrows. I wish there was a way that I could like see how much damage I'm doing and compare them. But, and I'm also not sure if infinity, right? So like I don't have, I don't know how this works. I don't know how infinity works with these arrows. Oh, you know, it's not working. It's not working. It used them. Look. It used up my quartz arrows. Ha <laughs> ha! That's cool. I mean, I can get a stat. Well, actually, no, because feathers. Oof. Feathers are expensive. I don't have enough feathers. All right, so we'll probably just use regular arrows. Considering how fast we draw up the bow, I don't think it's that big a difference. So, let's go find ourselves an end portal, shall we? So, boop. Where far art thou? Where'd he go? Oh, there he went. All right, so there's one in that direction. And yeah, I know I can go look up online and punch in my seed and then tell me the coordinates. I know. Shh, I know. But we're going to do it. We're going to do it like the vanilla way. All right? Click and follow eyes. Back when I find something. Well, in case I ever need terracotta, I found this place. All right, looks like uh, the ender pearl is going behind me now. So that's cool. Generally speaking, around here or somewhere then? Yep, that'll do. Let's do the thing. I'm gonna do a three by three straight down. Ow! That creeper actually hurt quite a bit. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't that low on health, was I? I know one creeper. Come on. I know it's nighttime, but still. Alright, 
Heading down. Digging straight down. Hey, look, we found the thing that we wanted to find. I know that's that, but sometimes there's like a second layer deep, so I'm just going to go all the way down from here where my pearl stopped, and we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm thinking, thinking this was it. All right, so now begins the hunt. I don't hear any exploding bits. Air affinity is cool. Removes the mining speed penalty when not on the ground. I definitely want that. So, yes, I will take that. Thank you very much. I will apply that to something. I don't know what it goes on. I guess helmets? Looks like helmets. Helmets only. So there you go. I can enchant a helmet with that, and I'd be very happy. Whee! Time to look around for... I mean, you know what I'm looking for. I'm just going to break doors. That's how I know that I've been somewhere. Oh, look what I found. Found it. Yeah, no thanks, Silverfish. I'm, I'm not going to make a new Metacraft farm of you guys because, I mean, you know. Nobody wants you. You're the worst. You're the worst monster in Minecraft. I hate you so much. Boo, Silverfish. All right, so let's Waystone. Boom. We will call you End Portal. Activated. Home base. I can sleep through the night now if I so decide. Sounds like a good time. And what I'm going to do is put away all my junk and be ready to go fight the dragon. So I think we're cool here. Air Affinity is a good time. True Shot we didn't need. Uh, most of the other stuff I think we're good on. Cables I don't need in my inventory. Yes. Looks good to me. Um, I didn't see how many, but we'll find out. Oh, wow. This needs uh, about 10 of them, so I need three more. Gotta love the waystones. Just saying. Makes life easier. Oh, yeah. Is that put away potatoes, by chance? I guess I did. <laughs> All right, so are we cool? I think we're cool. I think we're cool. I don't really need shafts in my inventory. I usually like to have... What I'm going to have is my bow here, and I'm not going to have you. Ah, wrong thing. That looks cool. Anything else I need that I should be worried about? No, I think we're I think we're good. I think we can go take on a dragon, yeah? I don't see why we can't. We've got flight. This should be an easy fight. Yeah, it should be. I'm just worried about how much damage I just took from that creeper. I really have spent zero time making my armor good. Right? Like, my jetpack's got protection for, that's about it. All my other armor has just been like, I found this in a chest, and now it's my armor. The end? Question mark? In before Dire names this episode the end, and everybody replies that they thought it was the end of the series. See, that is what would be nice to get rid of. Right? Wow, you have, like, a lot of falling. Man, what's up with the view distance in here? Is my view distance just like that low, or what's the deal? Usually I feel like I've got a pretty good beat on like arrows and their and their falling arc. This one seems a little different from what I'm used to. Maybe I'm crazy. So how much damage do you do? That one? That's a, I mean, that's not a terrible amount of damage. That's pretty good. I should have bought some diamond arrows just to try them out. That's what I should have done. That's what I should have done, but that's okay. We're just going to take this dude down. Just because I'm curious. I'd, I'm curious if you'd be able to tell the difference, right? Like, are diamond arrows that much better? We'll try it on something else at some point. Because I know I can resummon him if I ever need, I'm not even going to bother with Dragon's Breath. Oh. I should have brought my hammer, too. The ridiculous hammer, just to see how much damage it does to him. But I'm trying not to abuse that ridiculous hammer, because that hammer is ridiculous. Do I even have it on me? I don't think I brought it. 
Yeah, no. Wow, that's all I have in the back. I should really do better. Goodbye, dragon. Free the end. That went pretty well, I would say. Yeah, no complaints there. I should I should grab that dragon egg. How'd I do on experience, by the way? Oh, look how full my memory stick is. Ooh, 81 levels. Ah, man. That's a good reason to bring the memory stick to the end. Because, yes. And game complete. Wrapping up the series now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Just kidding, obviously. Uh, yeah, no, that is not that is not game complete. <laughs> So let's put you away, and you guys grab ourselves a piston and a lever, uh, and that should be cool. Yeah, I purposely didn't really want to abuse the hammer all that much. Oh wow, I angered a lot of them, didn't I? Maybe I should have brought the hammer. What are these things? Oh, I think that might be an invasion coming. Can I take them down with bow and arrow? I totally kind of can. Yes. Those little wisps are so annoying to kill, so I'm very pleased that I can do that. Beautiful. All right, now, end or. So there's a lot of dimensional shard ore here, obviously, which will be cool for RF tools when we need it. So that's a good time. Uh, there's some flowers from Nature's Aura, Rose of Oblivion. That's cool. I might grab those for when I do Nature's Aura. Definitely going to try out Nature's Aura a little bit. Nature's Aura is a fun mod. What else have we got here? So I think what I'll probably wind up doing is just fly in a general direction and hope to stumble upon uh, a thing, right? Now there's no um, Draconic Evolution in 116 yet, so there will be no, uh, you know, Chaos Islands or anything like that. So I think your best bet is just to kind of pick a direction and fly and hope you uh, encounter something. So I'll come back in a minute when I do, which may be several minutes for me, or quite a long time, but we'll find out. Be right back. Oh ho ho, what have we here? The city at the end of the game. Hello, potions of instant healing. Hello, shulkers. I should consider a shulker farm. I don't know, we'll see. Is that necessary? Maybe. Boop. Gotcha. Silk touch efficiency. Yeah, that's not bad. Sure, why not? We'll grab some enchanted stuffs. Sure, why not? Hey, guess who got an elytra? Dyer did. Guess who found the city at the end of the game? Dyer did. Look at that. Good times. <laughs> Is it normal for end for, for uh, ender chests, vanilla ender chests, to spawn in end cities? Is that like a normal thing? I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Dyer's vanilla knowledge once again impressing everyone. Curse of foolishness. Sweet, an Enochian key. Reduces item. Hey, nice from Woot. That's cool. I should look for more of those. I mean, I gotta imagine there would be more of those, right? Woot and Nokian. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's quite a few. Uh, four? Is that right? Five? Five of them? Sweet. That's kind of cool. 
We can take a quick look around here and see if there's any other chests. Dire is not the best when it comes to end loot and all that stuff. You know, where all the chests are. I know there's probably a few locations, but... I think they're generally in these areas, right? Or is it only at the top? Don't even know. But I'll at least kill some of these dudes. The worst part is being able to use your jetpack and like fall and then you can't fall because of you get it. Now here's one downside. I don't have an interdimensional teleporter, so I have to fly back to zero zero uh, in order to get home because I have to jump through the end portal. But we should probably look at making the RF tools teleporter thingy, right? So this should get me back home reasonably quickly. Wee. And that, my friends, is a quick trip to the end, courtesy of a bunch of junk that we got in our inventory. We'll look for, when we get into Woot, because I might want to check out Woot, when we do that, we'll uh, consider going to the end cities and finding more of that stuff. So I don't need any of you on here anymore, but let's take our Elytra and turn it into an Angel Ring. Booyah. So what I want to do, I'm assuming I can just equip you in an Angel Ring in a slot? Sweet. Now, how's this work? My engine is off. Oh, that is not slow at all. That's not bad. So I can use this. You know, I can use both. So if I just keep my engine turned off, this thing has decent armor, right? It's also charging the items in my inventory because I turned charge on. You can see it up at the top, charger is green. And whenever I want to go fast, I can just turn it on. This is actually pretty cool. And then double space and angel ring and creative flight and all is good. That is pretty cool. I like it. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to hang on to both. Keep this, you know, jetpack equipped. So this way, right, when I want when I want to go fast, I just turn on the engine, right? But now I've got creative mode flight, which is not too fast. I can do my precise work, right? Super, super nice for building, right? No more jetpack fall. And then if I need to get somewhere quickly, I just turn it on and we're cool. I like that a lot. Nice. All right, cool. Let's pop home. Boom, boom, boom. So I think that's a good wrapping up point for the episode. Uh, we made a really awesome bow that does some really nice damage. We visited the end. Uh, and we set up a teleporter to there so that when we need to go there in the future, we can. I think that's pretty cool. Nice. So wrapping up point for the episode, Direwolf 20 sent it off. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I like the angel ring. I like creative mode flight. Very yes. All right, guys. Take it easy.